Hey, this is Jeff with Expedition Essentials. This build um, we completed is on a third gen Tacoma long bed and it's using the Alicab Canopy Camper as the base tent model, which uh, we've turned to a full on camper using our custom interior. Well, let's check out what we've done on the inside. And the first thing you're gonna see is an Echo Temp Lux instant water heater, which is mounted using a custom mount that we made here, uh, which also features a flip through door so you can actually use the shower head inside for a sink that's mounted in there. You know, the instant hot water heater is great, mounted right here because you can use the Alicab shower enclosure and just stretch the cord over, take a shower, and it's, it's, it's a perfect setup. The customer's gonna love having this. Let's go ahead and move around to the back and check out what we've done on the back side here. And the, really the first thing you'll see is our propane bottle mount, which is a quick opening, which holds the five or 10 pound bottles. We've actually plumbed this camper fully interior in the, in the voids the camper has uh, for propane. So it goes all the way up front to your water heater, down here to your heater, and also have a, have a hose stowed for your exo table stove. First thing you'll notice on the rear door is the Expedition Essentials exo table, which is in a sense, it's a fold down camp kitchen, which has a stove that slides out. Get it away from the interior of the vehicle because no one wants cooking smells in their camper. Um, also has an upper table shelf. And as well as a removable cutting board. So it gives you a place to prep your food, um, set your condiments, drinks, and cook your food all in one little box, which is, which is really cool and handy. I honestly can't live without one of these in my own camper. So this thing, I mean, once you're done with it, it's really easy to use. I mean, put your hose away, hold down the arms, upper cable drop down, stove slides on in, and close it up and pin it. And that's pretty much the gist of it. It's it's awesome. It's an awesome product. customers putting these on trailers and camper vans and Jeep. It's just uh, it's a great addition to multiple vehicles. Typically your your AT or your Alicab comes as a, a blank slate. You know you'll get the shell with the pop-up tent and you'll have just have your truck bed which is fiberglass or, or steel however you look at it but um, that blank slate is perfect for creating something like we have here. You can create a fully livable space and have all the conveniences of home if that's what you want. So how we approach our custom interior builds is we start with an aluminum honeycomb floor and we work our way up and fully design the space um, to the customer's needs. And that begins with aluminum floor and then we move into the aluminum frame structure, which is fully welded. Um, it's lightweight, and then we skin it with aluminum as well, aluminum plate on top, and it's all powder coated, but it's all meant to be fully functional, creating storage, um, a location for your heater. Um, in this one, we have a microwave, a sink, and a cooktop, uh, fridge mounted, um, hidden tables, and otherwise just a just a basically a small apartment on wheels so what we've done on this one um, in addition to the storage we have our red arc manager 30 system mounted we have multiple usb outlets uh, track for mounting 
Um, your iPad, if you want to watch movies, it's in a nice spot. It can still be charged while you're watching it. Um, as well as a closeout panel here with your Propex heater, digital thermostat, USB outlet. Um, here you can see your Whirlpool microwave. Um, there's a sink in here, a uh, single burner cooktop, our Dometic 65 liter mini fridge. One of the cool features we really like about this um, interior setup is our customer really wanted a fold down table in this camper. Well, we kind of went above what he wanted and decided to do something fully custom and fully engineered. And, and what we came up with was this really cool table that you can't see here, but now you can but it is great for unwinding for an evening and having a meal and, and watching a show before you go to bed um, also good for you know home office stuff bad it's just a good use of space where there isn't very much so here in the same space um, We've created a cabinet for a 65 liter Dometic mini fridge, which is really cool. It opens this way, so you can actually still use it and still be seated. Underneath this wood butcher block is a sink and a single burner cooktop, um, which is all powered through the truck's electrical um, with a 2000 watt inverter. This top comes off and underneath, Nice sink and uh, cooktop here. So it has a also has a small storage compartment underneath for putting your your dishes or your soap or whatever else you want to throw down there. But nice way to use the otherwise empty space that would have been there. Underneath the galley module, we have this storage compartment here, which houses one of our Bluetooth lithium batteries um, for the electrical system. There's actually dual. 200 amp hour lithium, Bluetooth lithium batteries that create a 400 amp hour system. Enough power to run the microwave and cooktop and fridge and not really have um, significant drop. It uh, makes really nice power for, for a setup like this. Yeah, so what charges all of this um, in this system? Um, you've got a Red Arc Manager 30 system that is also backed up by a Red Arc BC to BC um, charger, which runs off the alternator. So while you're driving, we also have a 200 amp hour um, solar panel up on the roof. And so in addition to when you're driving, um, it also gets charged while you're parked from the solar panel on the roof. So we have a water pump. We have our inverter here, it turns it on and off. This is our interior lighting. Here's our fridge, which is always on. This is power for the heater. And this is basically just utility power for your USB outlets. Here also is our water level sensor for the water custom water tank mounted underneath the truck. 16 gallons. nice feature about what I've done with with this storage is I actually put in panels that closes it off so it's not an empty space you're stowing stuff in it's divided one of the pretty cool features in this camper build is this Whirlpool microwave which is basically an RV or semi truck microwave that uh, would be mounted in a corner and it's you know really nice um, add-on and super convenient for heating up your food when you just don't really want to get out a bunch of dishes and whip out the old stove and go to town this makes it quick and easy and personally i i like it you know to be honest with you it's i think it's going to be cool uh, definitely considering it on uh, one of my personal builds it's mounted in a nice custom enclosure and underneath we've got more storage um, which is just it's nice because well, you can never have too much storage. Underneath that, um, we've got our cabinet for our Propex 
propane heater, which is pretty cool. Um, run off a digital thermostat and keeps it nice and toasty in the camper when you're sleeping. And for our Northwest winters, it's definitely helpful having a, having a heater. The propane hose lives in that little compartment there. And you just feed it out the hole and run it out to the stove. All right, so last thing we have to show you on the camper is this pretty cool fold down side table that lives in this door and pretty easy to use and just gives you a nice um, exterior table which is pretty much at bar height and um, cool thing about it is that when your awnings open you have a nice little little table here which is a pretty cool feature definitely definitely like that addition That's pretty much the extent of the build. I know it was a lot to take in. Um, we're definitely happy with how it turned out and excited to get this truck to the customer. Um, it's definitely going to enable them to do some pretty awesome uh, extended off-the-grid adventures. And uh, we're looking forward to them sharing those with us and with you in return. So. Uh, Thanks everybody for checking out our video. And um, again, we're Expedition Essentials and uh, you can get a hold of us um, on our website or through Instagram. And we appreciate you taking your time with us. <laughs>